Hello there. How are you? Nice to meet you. That's great that you have decided to come to a special clinic that we run throughout the month of January, focusing on those dubbed January blues to help you feel better. And hopefully we will be able to cure you. Alright, so I'm Dr. Murmurs and we, through these clinics, um, we've actually seen quite a lot of patients like yourself and what we're going to be doing is running through a mixture of both medical procedures and slightly different procedures that are aimed at helping your stress and anxiety. So, first of all I'd like to point out that I have this heater here. Now the reason I have this halogen heater is because one of the problems of January is that not enough people get sunlight and this lack of sunlight can result in negative feelings and just generally feeling down and stressed and anxious. So today we want to help you with that, hence why we have the heater on shining at your face throughout entire session. Now, optionally, we can give you another source of heat. We have a relatively large candle. Some people find it quite relaxing and we can light that for you just now. Yes? Okay. And we'll just remove the top like so. This one is clean cotton. Smell, it smells nice, doesn't it? It will help you feel lovely and relaxed. So, I have these Jo Malone matches. Yes, we like to keep our best for our, our patients. So, we will just. Here we go. The candle is now alight and we will position this close to yourself so that you can feel the heat and the smell from this. Let's position that down. Alright, we'll pop that heater further down the air. Oh, okay. Now, first of all, I want to just do a verbal examination of your symptoms. Now, yes, so I want to just kind of understand how you've been feeling through the course of January. I know we're only halfway through January just now, but that's long enough for us to begin to feel slightly depressed and sad. Often we believe this is because there's been such a build-up to the holiday season and then in January it's longer to pay date so there tends to be more money issues as you will have used a lot of money on buying presents during the holiday season and that can make you feel quite anxious and stressed anyway and then of course we're still in the long winter days with nothing huge to look forward to but we will go through um, the different feelings or how to make yourself feel better and how to learn to look for new things to look forward to. All right, okay, I'm just going to take a few details just now. Can you please give me your name? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, and can you please give me your address? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I see. Excellent. Okay, and your postcode? Mm hmm. Okay. Now, um, your date of birth? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's really all the details we need, the personal details. Um, now for your symptoms. So how long have you been feeling down for? Okay, so it started actually in December, 27th of December roughly. Okay, really seems kind of like just after the holiday season. Yes, although, did you not do much for New Year or no, no big plans? Okay. Now, how much sunlight would you say you get daily? Okay, 30 minutes if even. And has that been the case for the whole of January? Okay. Is this because you work during sunlight hours? Are you in a closed office? Yes. Now that can often be the issue when there's no windows to expose you to the light. So you come in in the dark and you leave in the dark. And this can be quite distressing. Alright. Did you have quite a big build up to Christmas? Did you go to see family? Were you off? Mm hmm. Alright. Okay. And when you're feeling in town, have you just generally been feeling like you don't want to do anything or. Yes? And how has work been? Has work been more stressful since you've... Oh, okay, it has. Alright. What about, um, have you any financial issues or... Yeah, <laughs> you're just skint like us all. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, that's probably enough for just now. So I'll just close that over. Now what I would like to do is actually take your heart rate. We've been taking and recording the heart rate at the start of every session and by the end of every session we take it again and see if the session has made a difference to your heart rate. It helps us measure the amount that the session has allowed you to relax. Alright, let's pull my stethoscope off. I always managed to get it tangled in my hair. Okay, now. Alright, okay. Just relax for me. Yep. Pull them there. Okay, and one more time, just, yep. Alright. Okay, so your heart rate um, is sitting a little high. Um, Down. But it could just be, this is obviously a different situation to what you're used to, to before. A lot of people get quite nervous when they come to the doctors, but there's honestly nothing to be nervous about. I can assure you we will take most pleasant, nice care of you. Alright. Okay, now, first of all, what I like to do is I like to give um, my clients, um, my patients, um, a gentle scalp massage. This helps get to certain pressure points and relieve the stress that has been built up inside your head, of course. Um, so as you can see, I'm already speaking with a very soft voice and I will now put on my gloves. and prepare to give you a scalp massage. Alright, we're going to 
start with the right side of your head. Okay. That's it. I'm going to move towards the pressure point on the right side of your head. There. We're just going to really Make it fade away. going to start to move round to the upper portion of your head. There is also a pressure spot right at the centre here. And you'll just massage that out. And we'll slowly work our way towards the left side. Okay, we're gonna go. You've got one behind your left ear. Just here. now on the back of your head. That's it, just relax.
There's one there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is gently stroke up your forehead and push the stress from your forehead. my gloves now. How do you feel after that? Yes, a little bit more lighter. Excellent. Okay. How's the candle doing for you? Still helping? Excellent. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, with the light being an issue. What we have decided to do in this clinic is use some light triggers. Now I have a pupil gouache and um, it's a pupil gouache pen and I'm going to shine this into your eyes and I want you to just relax and follow the light. This may help um, especially because you haven't been receiving enough light, so it may help you relax. All right, I'm also going to record the reaction of your pupils to the light. So, okay.
Alright, and just have a look into this candle for me. Just look into the flame. Alright, so that's it for night triggers. I also just want to have a quick look into your ears if that's okay. Um, we have been just looking for any connection um, between ear infection or build up in the ear and feeling depressed. It's just to do with part of our research. So course, I'm just going to look into your left ear first. Alright. And now you have your right ear. Okay, your ears are fine. Alright, next up, we're going to work through some is boiling and you feel a bit helpless or a bit hopeless even, you're just going to take a sharp inhale of breath and then you're going to slowly release this breathing. So you're going to go in, two, three and high. Two, three, and in. Two, three, and out. 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 Two, three, and in. Two, three, and 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 two, and three. All right, so do you understand what we're doing there? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Now, moving on, we have been doing soft, gentle brushes onto 
your patient's faces like this. At the same time, we have been reinforcing positive voices and thoughts into our patient's mind. We have been explaining that this person or patient isn't worthless, you aren't hopeless, you have so much going for you. And that is something we want to reinforce. Alright. Okay. So, I'm just going to gently do this. You are special. You are you don't receive recognition. You know in your head that you are great and your work is great. Your boss does like you. Your boss does think you got Will promote you this year. Your boss will give you a pay rise this year. You are helpful. You are not stressed. You are a ray of sunshine to many. You are considerate. You are kind. You are generous. You are caring. Those who are loved by you are extremely You are lucky. You don't have anything to be stressed about. You have ambition. You will achieve your goals. You are clever. Do you have ideas? You are original. You are amazing. You are well received. You have a soulmate. Bring joy to others. Your friends love 
to hang about with you. You are fun. You are enjoyed on a night. Your parents adore you. Your siblings adore you. Your lover adores you, even if you may not have met them yet. There is someone there for you. You're going to be great. more. Say no to your boss. Don't stay late. Hang out with your friends more. Find your goals. Find something to get out of bed for. That's what you need to do. Find something to live for. Okay. Now I would just like to go through some of the goals. Yes, I would like you to assign yourself some goals for the next month. What I mean by that is you need to have a reason to get up and get out of bed. And you'll feel better about yourself if you are able to achieve those goals. Okay. So let's take some from different areas of your life. One, what would you like to achieve in work? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two, do you have any health-related goals? Like, do you want to get healthy? Do you want to be healthier? Do you want to lose weight or... Mm-hmm. And a tone. Of course. Mm-hmm. Cook better fit. You know, we could all we could all cook better fit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Last takeaways. Savings. Okay. You try and save this much. Okay. 
she wants to buy a house. That's an excellent goal because it means each month you can try and save money and you have a goal there, a really long-term goal of buying a house. That's excellent. You're going to go on a few dates. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh-huh. What about your friends? Mm-hmm. That would be great. Yes, I'm you should go away somewhere. How about somewhere like just skiing? Especially up the north of Scotland. You can go for the day and it won't be too expensive. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Okay, well that's a great number of goals that you have there. Absolutely. There's so many there and so much to look forward to in January. Yes, and think about it. You won't have the stress of meeting relatives or preparing Christmas dinner or who who should you hang out with for Hogwarts? A. That's over, but it doesn't mean that there's nothing to do. You just have to find things to do. Absolutely. There's so much to look forward to. Okay, for the final part, I'm going to take your heart rate again. We're going to see if it's made any difference. Okay. Sit. Excellent. It's come back to an average of around 80, which is a very good resting heart rate considering you were up at 130. Yes, so I can conclude from this that you have relaxed a little bit more, but you just have to keep that relaxation through the rest of January. We've taught you here how to calm yourself down and where the pressure points are in your head to relieve the stress that has built up in your head. Absolutely. Well, I can certainly tell you that it has been a pleasure treating you today. I would advise for you to get a few candles that you can put in your house or perhaps a halogen heater. I would also advise you go to your local pharmacy and pick up a small tub of vitamin C and iron supplements. You can also get vitamin D supplements as well. Now you would just take one a day and within moderation and these may help lift up your mood, especially vitamin D because you do get this from the sunlight. So if you can go into your local chemist, you should be able to get an inexpensive pack for 30 days for around 3 to 4 pounds. Of course. Yes, you just take one with water. You take it at the same time every day, usually with food or around food. So I would suggest taking it just after breakfast in the morning or just after dinner at night. I usually take mine in the morning. Yes. <laughs> so if you can do that for me, and of course you have my details. So if you do find that you're really getting yourself into a horrible position, you feel really, really low, then just give me a phone and we can always see you again. Alright, well, it's lovely meeting you. Now, I hope you take care and get some good rest.